What is up, planet? It is The Priest, and I'm back with another Pick A Card reading. So if you guys are new to the channel, shout out to all my new subscribers, and welcome to the Tarot Tribe. If you guys are not already following me on Instagram, you can follow me at The Tarot Priest. So today's topic is all about love, and the question we're going to be asking is, who is currently thinking about me, or who is currently thinking about you? Again, this could be a past, present, or future person. Your guys' energy and situations that are different. So remember to take what resonates with you, and if it doesn't, it's probably not going to be a message pertaining to you. But if you know that something is there and you can just feel it, the message is most importantly going to be for you. And last but not least, if you guys are not already a part of my Soul Journey webinar that I do every month, don't forget to check that out at my website or in the description box below for more information pertaining to my life coaching and booking readings. All right, so let's see what message is coming today for who is currently thinking about you. We have four different decks for you to choose from. We have the pink deck, deck number one, the brown deck, deck number two, the green deck, deck number three, and the purple deck, deck number four. All right, let's see what message is coming for you guys today pertaining to love. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and who is currently thinking about you. All right, so the overall energy, playfulness, laughter is the best therapy, have some fun together, and remember, love is the greatest healer. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and very soon. Secret admirer. I'm definitely feeling like some of you that have been single and waiting, there is someone that is definitely going to be coming in. You may overlook them. You may overlook them because the relationship that you guys have feels very friendly. It feels like if, you, if you're meeting someone new or if you haven't met them, this person feels like a really good connection as far as a friendship. Like there's a lot of playfulness and it's pretty, pretty good. It's pretty effortless. So I do feel like someone has feelings for you than they are a little bit deeper than they are letting on. So... It could be someone around you as well, but we're gonna get into the tarot to see because I wanna know if this if there's history here. All right, we have Scorpio energy on the board. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Empress, and Temperance. So now we have Sagittarius energy as well. So this feels like yeah, okay, there's a few here. There's a few situations here, guys. Again, remember, take what resonates because love, I'm picking up the entanglements. Um, so there's more, there's a lot of different situationships here, okay? So we have someone, some of you that have been single and waiting. I do feel like someone is very, very close. Um, Spirit is just basically saying that there needed to be some time for you to kind of get comfortable again um, to start dating and also getting comfortable with learning yourself, more self-love. And I think that because of how far you've come on this journey, uh, there's someone coming in now. It's almost like you've learned the balance that was necessary. So I do see that. I also see someone, some of you who are off and on in a relationship and it seems like a friends with benefits situation or someone around you is admiring you more than you're thinking. But I feel like some of you have situationships that are off and on with people who are just not looking for commitment. So I'm picking up that energy. Eight of swords. Yeah, so there's a sense of needing to free yourself from those things because I'm feeling like there is someone that you're manifesting that is going to be a really good beginning and a new start in your love life. But there are so many different ins and outs. Like there's, there is going to be some place where you find solid ground or certainty with your situations. So I do feel like some of you 
whoever this person is that's currently thinking of you, it's someone that is off and on. It is someone that's not really wanting commitment or you guys are trying to find commitment. It just seems like it's good chemistry. Some of you have good chemistries with this person. It's off and on, but there's no commitment there. And this is coming from needing more time with self, both of you guys kind of just getting grounded in oneself also. So whoever this is, they look from afar. So that person is a secret admirer. And then some of you do have someone around you that is a secret admirer, but just doesn't want to kind of express how they feel around you. Uh, we have hostilities. Yeah. So some of you guys were in a relationship with this person. It does seem like there is history with this person. So I'm going to split this up into the two different ener energies that I'm getting because some of you have a new admirer that's from afar um, that have been single and just an, a secret admirer in general around you. Now, the strongest energy that I'm picking up for those of you who chose this deck is simply someone that you've had in some type of history with, some type of connection with. You can't get them out of your head, um, can't get them off your mind. This person seems to have some type of um, ambition, uh, seems to be very smart as well. In peace, 13, release the past. There's more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. So those of you who chose this deck that off and on person, this is more of like letting go and understanding that you don't have the control over the situation and that this person is really just needing to make up their mind when they're ready to actually have something solid and committing. And why they're not committing, let's get into that. Because I did bring an extra tarot deck because I already know with these love readings, there's a lot of entanglements. And I mean, I get it. I get it. So I just want to make sure that I'm giving those of you an in-depth reading on each different energy. All right. So for those of you who are single, yeah, someone you're looking for commitment. Those of you who have been looking for commitment, um, it's been a long journey. What Spirit is saying for those is that your hope is what is manifesting this new person that's coming in. The more optimistic you are about your love life and this new person, start getting excited about that connection. Now, for those of you who are dealing with the on and off situation, the person that's currently thinking of them, thank you. Yeah, it's like there's no breakthrough. There's no breakthrough and there's no like solid understanding. Someone is juggling, going back and forth, um, both of you are coming back and to and from. And so this person is definitely thinking of you. And I'm going to ask about kind of like the status of the relationship. Again, this is going to be a pretty in-depth uh, reading. So whoever this person is, there's just a little bit of pride when it comes to settling down in, in making a commitment. Let's see. When you pass from this world, you take nothing but your soul and the memories you have. It's more of... I feel like there's a sense of this person, this on and off person needing to see that this connection is more than just a relationship, that you guys actually do have a good connection together. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Any other messages for this, whoever is currently thinking about this person? Yeah. So the hostilities in the past and in the, in the history has created this filter and so you guys aren't able to have a new fresh beginning when looking at each other it's kind of like through the same perspective and so there's a need for clarity there's a need a new start for um, a more positive fulfilling romantic relationship and long lasting spiritual relationships and so i do feel like even with this ace of cups here that this person eventually will come to a commitment they're defensive and they're going through a spiritual awakening the hostilities that you guys had the on and off it those times that felt like it was over but there was still more it's like there is definitely unfinished business here and i feel like this is going to happen pretty soon um again soon relative to how long you guys have been together so soon for some of you guys is months others of you have been waiting months for this commitment or even years some of you now, anything else on this person? Yeah, see, 
even the ace of cups here's the ace of cups it's you're wanting this new beautiful connection um, of something positive and it's just hard to get off the ground with this person when the lenses that you're looking through is through past experiences and past pains and sometimes this person does things or says things and it triggers those past moments whereas if you were in a completely new relationship we are much more open because we don't know this person um whereas with this one you kind of already know like oh yeah that's something you would do like just that comment is just not seeing them for a new person it's almost like you guys are being going through the separation on and off to start seeing clear and every time you get back together whatever this is whether it's getting back together just intimately or in a relationship you're learning more about one another and so with the peace card again this is about letting go letting go and starting new completely like a fresh new start all right is there anything else they need to know about this person that's currently thinking about them spirit has a plan that's this card here so this is for a bigger purpose um with this connection i do feel like you guys have a soulmate connection meaning just the connection i'm not going to label it i don't want you guys to get too into these labels it's just simply like the connection is on a soul level um but there's a lot of releasing of the past that's necessary and i think that there's going to be a new start to this when this person puts their guard down all right and in the meantime what should this thank you yeah in the meantime they're saying that you're gonna get in the end you're gonna get what belongs to you meaning your your personal fulfillment and happiness and so they want you to start celebrating your life yourself and the love that you have for life um and not postponing it waiting for this person because this person is in a very defensive state um i feel like on both ends there's a little bit of defense there just because of the last hostilities that you guys had but there are going to be specifically what i'm hearing is with this person there is going to be a situation that occurs in the future where you guys try to make it work and if it is not the right timing it will feel like it's being forced and so what they're saying is try to find that fulfillment with oneself before focusing on this person because we never know how hi they're going to have their guard up and you could be waiting for years to get what you want but as soon as you let it go completely and you move forward following the things that you love here you're going to feel much more freer more freer to be yourself and more freer to love i also feel like you guys are going through a heart awakening this is just awakening yourself more to what love is unconditional love understanding that you have the power uh to attract multiple soulmates in this lifetime and share multiple experiences and so you're learning a lot through this connection which is why I feel like it was um necessary for you now those of you who are single and who are like what the heck maybe you had someone in the past with a similar situation or you could be meeting someone with a similar situation uh we're all connected so it's all divine and for reason but i do feel like whoever it is that you're coming into contact with in meeting um is going to have some similarities here with their past relationship um but they're going to bring you great joy and great happiness as well so last but not least with the engagement card i feel like your love life is ascending and so whoever this next person is or whoever this person who comes back and makes that solid commitment is really is ready to take it to that next level. So, deck number 1, I can't wait to see what you guys have to say down below with the situation shift of entanglement or etc. In the meantime, stay encouraged, stay uplifted and remember to follow always your personal happiness as that will always be there. All right, I'm on to deck number 2. All right, if you guys chose deck number 2, this is your reading and who is currently thinking about you. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Now, these are definitely not the cards that you would want to see right off the bat. but i feel like this is still 
a good, solid, new, fresh start and new beginning to a very beautiful love connection. Seven of Ariel, you've invested wisely, have patience and wait. So some of you are just like, I'm, I'm ready for this, whoever this person is. It's taking a long time. I Or some of you have an idea, but you're waiting for some type of confirmation. And it seems like you have been very patient um, with your plans for the future. We have five of Gabriel, a challenge you can release. Withdraw the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. So some of you are getting that a lot. Have patience. Some of you are ready for this true love. And that's why I said when these first two cards came out, it's like, oh my gosh, more learning, more forgiving, um, more releasing the past. And sometimes it's just like your past thoughts. It could be past beliefs, past memories, um, and past visuals in general, and being more excited about the future than the past. And so I feel like this is a key to your true love. I also feel like this is more of a past situation as far as you have already forgiven a lot and learned a lot from the situation and you have released a lot. So some of you have already released and forgiven and learned. And so when you see in those cards, you're like, there's more. No, it's just that you went through these cycles and now a true love is coming in. So that's the way that I'm feeling now. We have Leo energy, the strength card. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. There's the two times. Now we have patience and forgiving. Okay? So just like that, the universe is already giving us so many signs about this person. Whoever this is, you guys have like a past life connection. So it'll feel like chemistry for those of you who this is a completely new person. But some of you, this is a new love for a person from the past. And that is because this is a pretty strong connection and we'll get to that. So it says embrace your inner child, new friends and rekindled friendships, children in childhood. So some of you, you could have children with this person. You don't have to, you could have raised children with them as well. Eight of Ariel, take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting an additional education and training. So whoever this person is, has been working on themselves. Uh, it seems like financially, financially, they are also coming off as very bold, very strong, a very strong person has, has been through their fair share of things in life, um, but has learned a lot, especially with their finances and abundance and their perspective on life. That's why I feel like this is going to feel like a true love when this person comes back, um, because there are some characteristic traits of someone who has been through some things and also just you also we have the abundant universe will provide so this is someone who has been focusing diligently on their finances on their career they've learned a lot um some of them may have even gotten into entanglements or situationships etc with other people and you may have seen that but they're saying also just know that everything happens for a reason. Nothing is by coincidence. This person had to go through their journey, just like you're going through your journey, so that this could be a completely new love. Um, this person needed to change their perspective also on love, on, on love in general, on true love. Let spirit be your guide. So this is someone who has been guided towards you and vice versa. We have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved one surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. And imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. So this means, again, whoever is currently thinking about you is someone that you have history with and you've been with for some time. Some of you have had a lot of patience with this person or vice versa, they may feel the same thing. All right, so let's get some more information on who this person is. Whoever is currently thinking about you is someone from the past that you have a pretty strong connection with. Let's see, give me the energy for the person that's currently thinking about this, this deck. Yeah, it's someone that has a lot of love. There was conflict, but the love is going to 
overcome the conflict whatever the solution is or the resolution is i do see it whether you guys decide to just completely be friends in, in each other's life or in each other's life in a love situation more information yeah so this person was unhappy i think that they had a lot of finding themselves to do a lot of letting go of resentment a lot of being honest with themselves and being real with themselves about this connection with you a lot of honesty a lot of contemplating a lot of releasing this person has done i feel like they're they did go through a a, a route a back alley route that was unnecessary um that's due to their stubbornness so whoever this person is again they're still currently thinking about you um, they're trying to build some type of endeavor or start something new. How do they feel about the person that chose this deck? Thank you. Yeah, they, they feel like they didn't get... I want to say they feel like they didn't get a fair opportunity or a fair chance with you. And um, they just wish that things were different is what I'm hearing as well. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have the three of swords. This person is really contemplating and going through their own spiritual awakening. So when they do come back, when they first communicate, and that's what I mean by coming back, coming back into your life at all, they're going to seem a little different. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what you feel is right. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. One thing I'm hearing for you also, deck number two, is that if you chose this deck, it is also fair to say that the situation that you guys have has also brought you a lot closer to your intuition, has bought, brought you probably more closer to tarot or just spirit in general so it doesn't matter where it's through and this person did bring you a lot closer to your intuition and your higher self we have the knight of pinnacles they're hesitant to come in with an offer and uh, they're still heartbroken the three of swords in reverse um there was a lot of a lot of conflict it could be some outside conflict is what i'm hearing as well that you guys were dealing with in your situation. This person needed to have clarity to think for themselves and make a decision for themselves. But that's why they had to go through what they went through to understand that. So that's kind of a good thing. Is there anything else that's here for the person who's currently thinking about them? Thank you. Hermit, we have Virgo energy. Yeah, they were just taking some time out to themselves. They're going through a lot of inner conflict. A lot of the things that you guys experienced were not personal. This person really had to undergo some type of ego death and trans transition in life because of just losing the hope. We have Aquarius energy. We have also Virgo energy. Why is the star card here? Yeah, Seven of Swords, lots of lots of breaking of the trust, lots of tarnishing trust. This is why it's so hard for this person to come back with honesty about how they truly feel because they're still dealing and battling with themselves in, in healing, letting go, not holding on to things from the past, not holding on to grudges as well. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're, you got, they're gonna come back with some type of communication in due time but it's gonna be slow with the nine of pentacles anything else on they're like they're going through their own overwhelming things in life and most of them are focused on finances or starting a business or moving up in promotion i'm also hearing that some people could have lost their job or have been thinking about leaving their job because of everything that has been going on, you're gonna notice that there's this, they are just focused on other things also.
So whoever this person is that's currently thinking about you is definitely an ex. Okay. Now for those of you, a very small few of you who, a very small few, because yeah, this definitely seems like someone from the past that's coming back with some type of opening up. Yeah, we have the King of Wands and the Ten of Cups. And then for those of you who are single and have completely released this person, I mean, I mean, release this person and really, really release them. I feel like you're going to have a new love come in. Now, again, with these love situations, the most important thing for you to know is that you can be in peace or you can be at peace knowing that this person is waking up to the connection that you guys do have for some time. I feel like some of you, um, they may have doubted it or they may have overlooked this situation, but I'm really strongly feeling like they're going to be coming forward with some type of communication because they've been thinking about you a lot lately. I think that it's because of the revelations they're having based on their last relationship. So if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and who is currently thinking about you. Don't forget to comment down below. In the meantime, I am moving on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and who is currently thinking about you. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. This could be the one. So this feels like obviously two different energies and it is safe for you to love. So two different energies here with love readings. Obviously, that happens a lot. Um, some of you have so many different situations or entanglements, whatever you want to call them. And um, sometimes there's multiple energies here. So remember to just take what resonates with you. So who is currently thinking? We have a high priestess. So again, this feels like there are people in your life around you that you're learning to let go of uh, very quickly, very quickly. If there is not chemistry, this person that you guys were with in the past, again, I'm, I'm jumping right to it. For some of you, you have someone from the past, very strong connection, very divine um, spiritually. Okay, so this is a very deep connection. This connection kind of set the bar in your relationship life because anything that's not there is unrequited love. And so right now you probably have been releasing a lot of people or going through a cycle of cutting people off or letting people go that you just felt like, okay, this chemistry doesn't feel the same. Um, not that you're waiting for this person, but you now know. So powerful psychic insights, reflection. Some of you guys could be mirroring one another. This feels like a twin flame relationship right off the bat right here. And also this twin flame relationship, again, I don't like to label things, but with the different labels, the most important thing is that you guys just have a divine connection. You reflect one another spiritually. Now, this spiritual connection that you do have, the reason why I say it's a twin flame, it's, it's usually more spiritual than other relationships. This is someone that's going to be feeding your soul, someone who can see your soul, someone who can see past all the ego things, and then they could just say, oh, this is you. That's the love that you have with this person from the past. Um, and again, if this is new love coming in for you guys, this will be the, the person for you. So those of you who are cutting off people and you don't really have that connection from someone in the past, then this would be a new person that's coming in. And this would be a very soulful soulmate connection or a twin flame connection. Usually at this point in your life, if this, if you don't have this with someone where there's someone from the past that you guys just are on and off and can't figure it out. And it's a spiritual soulful level connection. That's more than likely a twin flame. Okay, so some of you guys are meeting a soulmate and some of you have a twin flame. So this is the soulmate here. Now the six of Michaels, be the light at the end of the tunnel, breathe a sign of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. So this uh, relationship, whoever this person in that, that is thinking about you is looking to relocate or to travel or to try something new also. This they're saying is an indicator that this would be the one if this person came in. From your past and they are starting to see different things like trying new things and they're speaking a different language that's a sign that they've changed that's what they're saying king of ariel whoever this person is successful or looking to be successful probably has their own business could be a ceo or someone in their 
I want to say firm, that's for some of you guys, but someone who it works very diligently, works very hard to be great at what they do. This person is also uh, thinking about you. So it still feels like a game. There could be people around you, take it how it resonates. Whoever is thinking about you for all of the situationships wants to be accomplished, wants to be stable or is and successful and could have some power based on their status in their job. Okay, the star card, that's another indicator that it is a twin flame situation. This is also Aquarius energy, a dream come true, believe in yourself. So this person coming back, if they haven't already came back, is, is going to be like a miracle. Page of Michael, an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to be successful, review contracts and documents. So again, with the page of Michael, this person is probably truthful, a thinker. They may be analytic or pretty intelligent. So whoever's coming in or coming back has this energy of someone who can kind of see things. They seem, they appear to be um, intelligent. They appear to be very smart and wanting to be greater or more successful in life. Time to heal, snake bite. So again, this is the person that's coming from the past. There's definitely some healing that's necessary. Take time out. So this might be the time out that you guys need in separation to come back into union. Regardless, what they're saying is that you have to feel safe and this person has to feel safe to love. That's kind of what is blocking the connection is that two, two people or one or more does not feel safe to open their heart to the other person or to you in this situation. They want to be happy. They want commitment. Um, eventually, they're going to want to set it down. But I also just feel like they're focusing on themselves or finances and success. All right. So for the people, for the twin flame coming back, information on who is currently thinking about this person. Who is currently thinking about this person? Yeah, it's someone that doesn't want to come forth, um, very defensive, and also just trying to find their own personal fulfillment. Yeah, they will come forward with either communication, um, but right now it seems like they're focused on their dreams. That's the only, I don't even know if this person is even in a relationship because they're currently thinking about you. Let's see why they're currently thinking about you. Why are they currently thinking about the person that shows? Thank you. Yeah, they want to start sharing their accomplishments and their success or their goals and the things that they're, they're achieving in life with a partner. So now they're starting to see the importance of the partnership and the support, um, not, not just to be in a relationship, but they're starting to see the depth of the connection. And again, they're starting to think about how they could have more success or be more successful with you there. Why else are they thinking about this? Six of Swords. Some of them want to get out of the past, start something new, a lot more stable. But there's a lot of conflict here, again, with the Five of Swords. Let's see who else is energy. Al, so yeah, again, they're very wise. They see things clearly. If not, they're starting to wake up to more of that. Again, we have the Eagle and the Owl. This is someone who's pretty wise. Spirit has your back. This is going to be spirit, spiritual connection. So if, if you guys departed and you were twins, this person comes back or you guys come back a little bit more evolved every time, a little bit more every time, um, take the lead. So some of, some of you may take the lead and just opening up how you feel about this person because they may not have the bravery to do so. Why don't they have the bravery? Three of cups. Yeah. Cause they want a celebration. They want to reconcile, but they don't want a relationship just yet because they're healing. They're still healing, but they want you there by their side is when I'm feeling balance. Love is not always about agreeing, but a great relationship is one that supports and challenges. Yeah, so they feel like they are not able to have a relationship and then focus on themselves and, and maintain that balance of having someone there while they can also focus on themselves. Now, this new person coming in, for those of you who are single, and you don't have a twin or you don't have this connection with someone from the past that you may be waiting for or wondering about whoever this person is they are going to have some sense of success but i do feel like they are going to be a little bit hesitant with wanting to jump right into a, a relationship right away my beloved 
Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we're always united for love, transcends space and time, nothing is missing. So you guys are learning that even though whoever this is, either you or them are learning, again with the twin flame connection, that physically we could be apart, but I always feel like you're there, is what they're saying. I always feel like you're there. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So again, this is a very deep connection. If you have yet to meet this person, the on and off situationship that you just love unconditionally and you accept that you love that person and you're ready, just know that they are thinking about you every day. They love you. They under, like they're, they're understanding more about this separation and what this connection really means. And those of you who are twin flames know what I'm talking about. But for those of you who are here, this new person that's coming in, you're gonna like them a lot, but you're gonna see that they need time. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available. Follow it with faith. And then you guys have these. I have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck again. This is a very divine spiritual connection. Ten of Swords, again, another ending. Page of Swords in reverse, Seven of Cups. So I feel like this is someone that they're or they're longing for you. There have been a lot of nights where this person is longing for you, thinking about you, thinking about if you've moved on, if you have options, wanting to know those things. Eight of Wands, wanting to communicate again, wanting to start all over, wanting things to be simple, not complicated is what they're saying as well but just not coming forward with communication because some reason it's hard for this person to communicate how they feel. It's like they they would rather watch from watch you be happy from the sidelines and not, and again, this kind of feels like they're dealing with a little bit of self-sabotage and feeling worthy and you may be feeling this way too. So again, remember the soul and the spirit mirrors one another, especially with the twin flame. Now this person, it's like instead of communicating, they would prefer to watch from a distance because they don't want to be at fault for your own happiness or be to blame this time. And so instead of just opening up and telling you how they feel, they're struggling with themselves internally to just say, you could be the one. I love you so much. Let's do this. Let's do this. So last message. Perfect. Yeah. Nine of Swords, they've been thinking about this a lot. They've been keeping it hidden. Ten of Cups in the reverse, they've been keeping this hidden. And they're looking for something stable. They just, they're realizing that that stability just may be with you. And yeah, for those of you who are waiting for a twin, it's like you can trust and, and follow your intuition and know that if this relationship is meant to just naturally step out of the way and let it kind of mend itself. And for those of you who have a new person um, that's currently coming in and starting to think more about you, just know that it's going to take some time. Um, it's not that they're still in love with someone. It's just that they're finding their happiness outside of this relationship as well, especially if it's not a twin flame ex. It just seems like they're coming in with some heavy energy. It could also be family, family energy as well. But this person is pretty overwhelmed and looking kind of for a release. And yeah. So if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and who is currently thinking about you. Do not forget to comment down below or if you're part of the Tarot Tribe, don't forget to hashtag Tarot Tribe so I can welcome you to the planet. All right, on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and who is currently thinking about you. The overall energy, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other and keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Let's see what this is about as far as the tarot and the situation. Um, so I'm feeling like some of you guys have someone coming in new. There's a lot of passion here, a lot of chemistry, a lot of love and fulfillment with this person. Whoever's thinking about you wants to co-create. They want to build something with you. Now is a lucky time. Yeah. So whoever this is, it's going to feel like it's by chance. Um, I feel like that. Let's see if you know this person already. I did bring my extra tarot deck because I just already know with all of these situationships and relationships and entanglements or whatever you guys want to call them nowadays. I just want to be sure because some of you 
have freed yourself and some of you have um, this happiness that's literally at your door. All right, so is this someone that they know? This person? No, I don't think it's someone that you know, but you're gonna feel like you know them intuitively. For some of you, yeah. For some of you, this person could be someone from the past. For those of you who know who I'm talking about, this is someone that would want to co-create. You could have co-created with them. This is someone that is like your person. Some of you feel like you've already found that person um, and that's what you're longing for, needing to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, but also freeing yourself from the situation. So this is a little bit of a tricky situation. Again, uh, following your intuition and following your heart is what leads you to this person. But I feel like some of you already felt like you found that person. So what is blocking this connection? I just want to see who this person is. What's blocking it? Okay. So some of you have a person coming in, but it's contingent on releasing the person that you once thought was the one. Whoever's thinking about you, you have a couple of people that are currently thinking about you or are coming in. So if I were to say thinking about you, I do feel like this person is thinking about you as well. You wouldn't just be thinking about them, but there's an overwhelming sense that this could be my person or I feel like I found my person or I really thought this person was the one. And that's why I feel like the open mind is here is because spirit, universe, whatever you choose to believe, wants you to keep and remain in an open-minded state so that you're not postponing your happiness with another person. So like I said, someone new is coming in. You guys don't even see them based off of freeing yourself from the situation in order to do that. It's, it needs to be an open-mindedness. So why are they thinking about the person that chose this deck? Yeah, it's your lucky day. They're thinking about reconciliation, but feeling like they can't trust. So they want to come forward with their feelings for you. They want to tell you how they feel, but I all it's very, very tricky. <laughs> I keep saying that, but I have to be clear. This is definitely a situation ship. Some of you are free from this past person that I'm talking about and are ready for a new person. A new person is coming in. And I feel like that's why um, someone is getting ready to start thinking about you very heavily. So you have someone that's coming in or someone around you that is thinking about you. It's a wish come true, it's a wish fulfillment. And some of you, the person that's thinking about you wants to come forward, wants to be in rec reconciliation, but must free themselves mentally. Okay, so it's going to feel like a luck, but I feel like this person, you're going to have either a heart to heart conversation. Some of you are going to get some closure from this person if you are seeking to move forward. Anything else on this person? That... Yeah, two of cups. So this is definitely a soulmate connection. And but there's a little bit of codependency here. We have Capricorn energy, a little bit of codependency. It's like being happy before the person having a person and not depending on a person to bring happiness for you. And that and that's pretty much in anything that you do. What they're saying is that the reason why this relationship is either on and off or not working out with the person you thought was the one that was bringing you happiness at the time or you feel like can bring you happiness in the future is because there's a sense of codependency here. Seven Raphael, it would take time for this to come back together. So that's why Spirit is basically saying, keep an open mind to someone else around you coming in because there is a fulfillment of love that is for you, okay? There is a there is some fulfillment in love that is for you, but you must believe that this is not just love that you can have with this person or one person. You can have multiple soulmates in this lifetime. So again, that's the open-mindedness. I'm feeling like there's a blockage in the, sh the crown chakra that's usually about being open and also following intuition in your heart if you're worried about making the wrong decision for some of you who... Are worried about that so yeah i don't feel like they're gonna want to be in this committed relationship anytime soon because i don't feel like they're open to it just yet at some point they wanted to be in this relationship with you wanting to create and co-create and it was an equal give and take but somewhere it became codependent 
and dependent on one another. And so when that person left or when you guys departed, there was a lot of sadness, but that's why Spirit is saying, building that internal happiness so that you don't have to worry about that. And this person also may be focusing on their finances. We have a lot of pentacle energy. You guys could be dealing with an earth sign that's Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Otter, you are never alone. So yeah, you're learning so much in reflection. This person that you have this connection with, there's a very strong soulmate connection here. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. So some of you are going to have major, major justice. Once you decide to release this person, not only are they going to come in either with an apology or some type of awareness of the situation, they're going to say those things to you. I'm definitely feeling that. And then I'm seeing that you're getting ready to reap justice in new love. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised at where it leads. So that's what Spirit is basically saying is go with the flow, especially in this situation ship. Um, it's just not solid right now, but that's who is currently thinking about you. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events. Your life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. So this is releasing, allowing them to have control over your love life by even waiting or not giving yourself a fair chance at love. That's also what I'm feeling, <clears throat> which is strong Libra vibes. All right, so we have the Ace of Wands, being afraid to start all over for some of you. We have Pisces energy, the moon, and then we have the lovers, which is Gemini energy. So a lot of you have a partner and is this person new coming in? Is this person new? Yeah, I feel like there's a new person coming in as well. So you're going to have a couple people thinking about you currently um, in this situation shit because man, I'm feeling a lot of love here but just a lot of confusion all right let's see what the last question is is why are they thinking about this person what are they thinking about this person currently yeah they're not trying to really move anything forward they're going through their own spiritual waking at this moment and they're becoming their greatest versions of themselves um, i feel like the universe is kind of working on them just with some of the things that they have going on in their life. So there is a strong releasing on their end. So I feel like what's happening is they're having to deal with a lot more truth in their life and expressing it because they're becoming this person. So they're holding themselves accountable a lot more uh, with the decisions they're making. And I feel like they're moving a lot more slower and I guess committing in a relationship. So yeah. That's basically what I see. It's like they're doing their own thing over here, but they're thinking about you because they're realizing and having realizations. They're basically opening that door. But I see so much love and happiness in your life when following your intuition and just moving forward and releasing. There is new love. There is justice in this relationship. So that's like a whole relationship reading, which was not my intention, but... I feel like this was good information for you guys to know about this. Some of you were just kind of seeking a little bit of clarity with the situation. And I'm feeling like, you know, you are both going through your own transitions and your own spiritual awakenings. And in due time, there is someone that's for you. And the expression of them seems to be through honeymoon or holiday time together. So this could be around the holidays. So keep that in mind. If you guys chose deck number four, this is the reading that I have for you guys. I hope that everything starts to clear up. Like I said, you guys have a wish come true. You have a, a fulfillment coming in, some type of offer of love. And whatever it is, it seems like it's in alignment with your true self. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to comment down below. In the meantime, I am out of here on to the next pick card reading. Thank you guys for tuning in to this reading. Wishing you all the best. And remember to be open and honest with yourself because you deserve true, unconditional love.